Next, we travel with the candidates in races across the country. Texas Democrat Beto O'Rourke zeroing in on his final message against incumbent Senator Ted Cruz. More Texans casting early votes in the state's largest counties than did in the entire 2014 midterms. And the new allegations flying in the heated Georgia governor's race, key contests that will likely chart the country's future course. ABC's Paula Ferris on the state of the race tonight. Tonight, the balance of power in the House and Senate and President Trump's agenda are at stake. And I am in the fight. We've got a job to do. We fundamentally want the best for everyone. But in Georgia, everybody gets a vote. A That's state a where thing. celebrities That's like something. Oprah have been on the trail <laughs> and where a record breaking two million early votes have been cast. Today, the Republican gubernatorial candidate and Georgia's Secretary of State, Brian Kemp, requesting an FBI investigation, accusing Democrats of cyber crimes and trying to hack Georgia's voter registration system. But Kemp has battled claims of voter suppression and trying to stifle the black vote, a charge that he vehemently denies. That is a myth that the, the Democrats bring out every two years. His opponent, Stacey Abrams, is trying to become the nation first black female governor, dismissing Kemp's allegations to our Atlanta station. He is trying to rile up his base by misleading voters yet again. Nationwide, even the president admitted that Democrats could retake the House. But for them to win the Senate, they need to gain two seats. And that means winning in states won by President Trump. In Arizona, two women vying to become their state's first female senator, Republican Martha McSally, a former combat pilot, and Democrat Kirsten Sinema. Part of a record number of women nominees running in 2018. And in Texas, a Democrat hasn't won statewide in almost 25 really years. There is no stopping us. Beto O'Rourke in a last minute scramble on Sunday. You're pro gun control, you're pro immigration, you are pro choice, you're pro pot. I may characterize the positions you just described a little bit differently. Okay. But are they too progressive for Texas? No, um, they, they, they are of Texas. They are from Texas. As for Senator Cruz, he believes the majority of Texans will once again vote Republican. Republicans have tried to dismiss Beto as, quote, a shiny new penny. Well, it's because so much of the national media is in love with him. Beto O'Rourke is the only Democratic Senate nominee in the country to come out for impeaching President Trump. Our Paula Ferris tracking that very closely watched Senate race out of Texas. Our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, joins me now. John, I want to go back to the House. You've spoken to the president about this. You've spoken to your sources in the White House. We never know what could happen in the Trump era. But have they resigned themselves to the fact they possibly may lose the House? The president is focused almost entirely on the Senate. You see it where he's traveling. In the final days of the campaign, he's only going to states that he won, where they are trying to win in red states. In terms of the messaging, they are focused on getting Republicans, getting the base to the poll with a hard right message of fear and loathing, the kind of message that might work in a red state in these Senate races, but it's going to alienate voters in the suburban districts where the House battle is being fought. On that issue of motivating the base, we heard Ronna McDaniel say in Tara's story that the president's talking about all types of issues, but that's not really the case. Look what he's done in the past week. He came out and he, and he went out with uh, sending military to the borders. First said 5,000 troops, then he said 10,000, maybe 15,000. He talked about ending birthright citizenship. He talked about suggesting the military may fire on stone-throwing migrants. He is focused almost entirely on immigration. He's even joked uh, that, 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 he, that people say he should be talking about the economy, but it's not as exciting. All right, John Carl, our thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.